I have two videos about 2.22.22 and I'm not sure how I'm exactly going to post them. So if these two videos come up back to back or um, in quick succession and they appear to be conflicting with each other, <laughs> the through line in the message is that this work happens within ourselves and this work is to learn to trust ourselves and to focus on who we are and what we know. So with that, <laughs> this video is going to be about a message that came through for 2-22-2022. Um, yeah, okay. So this message was a little bit different. Normally I go to my place of nature, I meet with my spirit guide there, and we will either travel into the underworld or we'll travel up to the Akashic Records. Today we actually moved, or sometimes we just stay in that place of nature as well. Today we moved into a clearing, went on a spaceship, and traveled up above Earth. It's all good, no worries. Um, you can check out some other videos that I have about connecting and who you're connecting with and setting your boundaries and all that kind of thing um, because that's all really important. I know to trust this guide. Um, we've established a relationship and he's kind of like my transport guide. So he sort of like takes us wherever we're gonna go for whatever healing or message. So I know as long as he's present, I'm good. So we went up and looked down on earth and I was kind of like, okay, what are we, what are we doing here? What's happening here? Um, and the message that I got was that there are a lot of eyes watching earth right now. And it's this precarious situation right now where there's a lot that's happening here. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot of eyes watching what's happening here. And there's also these agreements that anyone here has the power of free will. So we go through this forgetting process so that we can have this power of free will, which can lead us in a multitude of different directions. <laughs> um, and we can end up uh, steering off course. And we can also learn our lessons or get caught up in things and, and you know, it, it can be, it can be challenging. And with all of that, we do still have this universal connection. So if you are someone, and it was, it's kind of funny how they, how they said this. If you are someone who feels like you are being watched, um, you are. Um, but in like the best and most loving way. And the message that they gave me with that was if you can feel that energy of being watched first, the most important piece is to clarify that you are being watched by a loving energy and that that energy is connected with all that is love and good. So that's the first piece, just, you know, uh, as my teacher Nikki says, check IDs, make sure that your, your connection's good. And then sort of, and it, it's not a, like, it's not a loophole for free will, but what essentially is happening is that you are able to then connect to these energies and experience a level of remembering. So we might not necessarily like blast all the way open and, and understand fully, but there is a level of remembering of our connection to the collective, to previous lifetimes, previous experiences, and to our soul selves, and our soul selves knowing that we all originate from love and from single light energy. So they really are watching and trying to help us without interfering, without crossing any of those lines of interfering with free will. And we can invite them in and we can work with them if we feel that connection and if we feel so inclined to. 
The other thing that was really brought up with this energy is, actually before I move on to that, I want to just sort of say like, why now? And to be honest, I, I don't fully understand the answer to that. There are a lot of people who are talking about why now. Really, it just, it feels like there's, where the energies are so intense that we're really coming to a tipping point. And what I'm receiving from an energy perspective is we could divide, we could go down a path of, not coming together and elevating. Um, but all of this energy is being directed right now because we have this potential. We have this moment. There is still this possibility of uniting. And even just now, I keep getting the love train song in my head. <laughs> the like people all over the world join hands start a love train and it's it just as I was bringing through this message it just kept on coming up and, and just right now it, it came back again which brings me to this next piece and this next piece is the most important thing and I have said this in so many of my Akashic messages for the collective they just keep reiterating how incredibly important it is for each and every one of us to focus on our own sphere of influence. We need to focus on ourselves, on our internal world, and in the small sphere of influence that we each have impact on. And then we can join hands and those ripples will ripple out. Because it is too easy to get overwhelmed by the divide. It is too easy to get overwhelmed by everything that isn't going right and or that is suffering or that is having these experiences of division. So the best thing that we can do and check out my previous video about um, spiritual bypassing because this is well can in theory, it could be spiritual bypassing, but I don't see it as such. I see it as intentionally focusing our energy on what we have the ability to impact. And through our impacts on a small scale, we then have the ability for that small scale to build and grow and join hands and join a love train or start a love train. <laughs> I'm sorry if that song gets stuck in your head. It is the message that is coming through loud and clear right now. And I'm also not saying that we need to agree with people of differing opinions. We also don't have to partake in their experience. We don't have to engage with their energy. We can disagree with them and remove ourselves, but we can still send them love. We can still acknowledge their their experience, however misguided or troubled, but it's most important for us to focus on ourselves and our smaller sphere of influence. And then those who are within our sphere who don't agree can still feel the impact of our energy and of that love and of the collective coming together and building and forming love. Because although fear is strong, this is so cliche, as though although fear is strong, love is stronger. It's just we as primitive humans have this natural inclination to come into protection mode, which is again why it's just so important for us to focus internally on this experience of love and cultivating that for ourselves and for those around us. Now this, I always ask for these messages to come through in a way that we can understand. And what I was getting was that there are still challenges ahead and they put it in very human terms we do still have to address and move through a lot of trauma, a lot of suffering, a lot of rebelling, and a term that they've used in the past is like a lot of tenter tantrums. There's a lot 
happening that is shifting and changing and there are a lot of people who are really fearful of this great massive shift that is occurring and they're lashing out uh, it's just kind of human nature and we can have love for them we can see their challenges and not get wrapped up in it i think that came up in the 2022 message i think where it was about we can see somebody else's challenge but we don't need to feed that energy instead we can love them and then remove ourselves from that experience and they did say, they did share, they do want us to know that there is hope. There is a path through this. There is a forward momentum. There is this ability to come together. And when we think about it on such a large grand scale, it becomes overwhelming, which is why they continuously ask us to focus on what is within our sphere. As I was wrapping up, with this sitting up there watching earth, I could see the love, I could see the light, I could see the energy growing and building and amplifying and reaching and stretching across the globe. Like this is here, it is happening. There is this possibility for all of us. And there are those energies and beings who want to help us but are not crossing the barriers of free will. So there are many people here at this moment for a reason. And there are also many energies that are still off the planet that are directing their energy towards the planet for a very positive shift. And they are here to help us. So that is the 20, the 222, 2022 message that I received. I hope you find that interesting. Um, again, the second video that's gonna come out um, has a through line, but a little different. So stick around and uh, check that one out as well. I will also link some additional videos that I think might be useful along this journey. And you know the drill for all of the YouTube things. Please click the subscribe button, notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. If you're interested in working with me directly, there's the link in the description box to book a session with me, um, whether that be energy reading, Akashic Records, or human design, or coaching. So all that information is in the description box, and I will see you in the next video.